Hard water is water that has high mineral content. Hard water is formed when water percolates through deposits of limestone and chalk which are largely made up of calcium and magnesium carbonates. Hard drinking water may have moderate health benefits, but can pose serious problems in industrial settings, where water hardness is monitored to avoid costly breakdowns in boilers, cooling towers, and other equipment that handles water. In domestic settings, hard water is often indicated by a lack of suds formation when soap is agitated in water, and by the formation of limescale in kettles and water heaters. Wherever water hardness is a concern, water softening is commonly used to reduce hard water's adverse effects. Effects of hard water With hard water, soap solutions form a white precipitate instead of producing lather. Because the two plus ions destroy the surfactant properties of the soap by forming a solid precipitate. A major component of such scum is calcium stearate, which arises from sodium stearate, the main component of soap. 2C17H35COO- plus California 2 plus 2 California hardness can thus be defined as the soap consuming capacity of a water sample, or the capacity of precipitation of soap as a characteristic property of water that prevents the lathering of soap. Synthetic detergents do not form such scums. Hard water also forms deposits that clog plumbing. These deposits, called scale, are composed mainly of calcium carbonate, magnesium hydroxide too, and calcium sulfate. Calcium and magnesium carbonates tend to be deposited as off-white solids on the inside surfaces of pipes and heat exchangers. This precipitation is principally caused by thermal decomposition of bicarbonate ions but also happens in cases where the carbonate ion is at saturation concentration. The resulting buildup of scale restricts the flow of water in pipes. In boilers, the deposits impair the flow of heat into water, reducing the heating efficiency and allowing the metal boiler components to overheat. In a pressurized system, this overheating can lead to failure of the boiler. The damage caused by calcium carbonate deposits varies on the crystalline form, for example, calcite or aragonite. The presence of ions in an electrolyte, in this case, hard water, can also lead to galvanic corrosion, in which one metal will preferentially corrode when in contact with another type of metal, when both are in contact with an electrolyte. The softening of hard water by ion exchange does not increase its corrosivity per se. Similarly, where lead plumbing is in use, softened water does not substantially increase plumbosolvency. In swimming pools, hard water is manifested by a turbid, or cloudy, appearance to the water. Calcium and magnesium hydroxides are both soluble in water. The solubility of the hydroxides of the alkaline earth metals to which calcium and magnesium belong increases moving down the column. Aqueous solutions of these metal hydroxides absorb carbon dioxide from the air, forming the insoluble carbonates, giving rise to the turbidity. This often results from the pH being excessively high. Hence, a common solution to the problem is, while maintaining the chlorine concentration at the proper level, to lower the pH by the addition of hydrochloric acid, the optimum value being in the range of 7.2 to 7.6. Softening it is often desirable to soften hard water. Most detergents contain ingredients that counteract the effects of hard water on the surfactants. For this reason, water softening is often unnecessary. Where softening is practiced, it is often recommended to soften only the water sent to domestic hot water systems so as to prevent or delay inefficiencies and damage due to scale formation in water heaters. A common method for water softening involves the use of ion exchange resins which replace ions like California 2 plus by twice the number of monocations such as sodium or potassium ions. Washing soda is easily obtained and has long been used as a water softener for domestic laundry, in conjunction with the usual soap or detergent. Health considerations The World Health Organization says that there does not appear to be any convincing evidence that water hardness causes adverse 
health effects in humans. In fact, the United States National Research Council has found that hard water can actually serve as a dietary supplement for calcium and magnesium. Some studies have shown a weak inverse relationship between water hardness and cardiovascular disease in men. Up to a level of 170 mg calcium carbonate per liter of water. The World Health Organization has reviewed the evidence and concluded the data was inadequate to allow for a recommendation for a level of hardness. Recommendations have been made for the maximum and minimum levels of calcium and magnesium in drinking water, and a total hardness expressed as the sum of the calcium and magnesium concentrations of 2 to 4 mmol. L. Other studies have shown weak correlations between cardiovascular health and water hardness. Some studies correlate domestic hard water usage with increased eczema in children. The Softened Water Eczema Trial, a multicenter randomized controlled trial of ion exchange softeners for treating childhood eczema, was undertaken in 2008. However, no meaningful difference in symptom relief was found between children with access to a home water softener and those without. Measurement Hardness can be quantified by instrumental analysis. The total water hardness is the sum of the molar concentrations of California 2 plus and Mg2 plus in mol L or mmol L units. Although water hardness usually measures only the total concentrations of calcium and magnesium, iron, aluminium, and manganese can also be present at elevated levels in some locations. The presence of iron characteristically confers a brownish color to the calcification, instead of white. Water hardness is often not expressed as a molar concentration, but rather in various units, such as degrees of general hardness, German degrees, parts per million, grains per gallon, English degrees, or French degrees. The table below shows conversion factors between the various units. The various alternative units represent an equivalent mass of calcium oxide or calcium carbonate that, when dissolved in a unit volume of pure water, would result in the same total molar concentration of Mg2 plus and California 2 plus. The different conversion factors arise from the fact that equivalent masses of calcium oxide and calcium carbonates differ, and that different mass and volume units are used. The units are as follows. Parts per million is usually defined as 1 mg LCACO3. It is equivalent to Mg L without chemical compound specified, and to American degree. Grains per gallon is defined as 1 grain of calcium carbonate per U.S gallon, or 17.118 ppm, a mmol, L is equivalent to 100.09 mg, L caco 3 or 40.08 mg, L California 2 plus, a degree of general hardness, is defined as 10 mg, L cow or 17.848 ppm, a Clark degree or English degrees is defined as 1 grain of caco 3 per imperial gallon of water, equivalent to 14.254 ppm. A French degree is defined as 10 mg L caco 3, equivalent to 10 ppm. Hard, soft classification because it is the precise mixture of minerals dissolved in the water, together with the water's pH and temperature. That determine the behavior of the hardness, a single number scale does not adequately describe hardness. However, the United States Geological Survey uses the following classification into hard and soft water. Sea water is considered to be very hard due to various dissolved salts. Typically, seawater's hardness is in the range of 6,630 ppm. In contrast, freshwater has hardness in the range of 15 to 375 ppm indices. Several indices are used to describe the behavior of calcium carbonate in water, oil, or gas mixtures. Langelier Saturation Index The Langelier Saturation Index is a calculated number used to predict the calcium carbonate stability of water. It indicates whether the water will precipitate, dissolve, or be in equilibrium with calcium carbonate. 
In 1936, Wilfred Langelier developed a method for predicting the pH at which water is saturated in calcium carbonate. The LSI is expressed as the difference between the actual system pH and the saturation pH. LSI equals pH minus pHs for LSI greater than zero. Water is supersaturated and tends to precipitate a scale layer of CaCO3. For LSI equals zero, water is saturated with CaCO3. A scale layer of CaCO3 is neither precipitated nor dissolved. For LSI less than zero, water is undersaturated and tends to dissolve solid CaCO3. If the actual pH of the water is below the calculated saturation pH, the LSI is negative and the water has a very limited scaling potential. If the actual pH exceeds pHs, the LSI is positive, and being supersaturated with CaCO3, the water has a tendency to form scale. At increasing positive index values, the scaling potential increases. In practice, water with an LSI between minus 0.5 and plus 0.5 will not display enhanced mineral dissolving or scale forming properties. Water with an LSI below minus 0.5 tends to exhibit noticeably increased dissolving abilities while water with an LSI above plus 0.5 tends to exhibit noticeably increased scale forming properties. The LSI is temperature sensitive. The LSI becomes more positive as the water temperature increases. This has particular implications in situations where well water is used. The temperature of the water when it first exits the well is often significantly lower than the temperature inside the building served by the well or at the laboratory where the LSI measurement is made. This increase in temperature can cause scaling, especially in cases such as hot water heaters. Conversely, systems that reduce water temperature will have less scaling. Water analysis pH equals 7.5 TDS equals 320 mg L calcium equals 150 mg L as CaCO3 alkalinity equals 34 mg L as CaCO3 LSI formula LSI equals pH pHs pHs equals where A equals 10 E equals 0.15 B equals minus 13.12 X log 10 plus 34.55 equals 2.09 at 25 degrees Celsius and 1.09 at 82 degrees Celsius C equals log 10 California 2 plus as CACO 3 0.4 equals 1.78 D equals log 10 alkalinity as caco 3 equals 1.53 rise na stability index the rise na stability index uses a database of scale thickness measurements in municipal water systems to predict the effect of water chemistry rise na saturation index was developed from empirical observations of corrosion rates and film formation in steel mains it is defined as RSI equals 2 pHs, pH for 6, 5 less than RSI less than 7 water is considered to be approximately its saturation equilibrium with calcium carbonate. For RSI greater than 8 water is undersaturated and, therefore, would tend to dissolve any existing solid CaCO3. For RSI less than 6, 5 water tends to be scale forming. Pacorius Scaling Index The Pacorius Scaling Index uses slightly different parameters to quantify the relationship between the saturation, state of the water and the amount of lime scale deposited. Other indices Other indices include the larsen scald Index, the Stiff-Davis Index, and the Otto-Thomson Index. Regional Information The hardness of local water supplies depends on the source of water. Water in streams flowing over volcanic rocks will be soft while water from boreholes drilled into porous rock is normally very hard. Hard water in Australia Analysis of water hardness in major Australian cities by the Australian Water Association shows a range from very soft to very hard. Total hardness levels of calcium carbonate in PPMR. Canberra, 40, Melbourne. 10 to 26, Sydney. 
39.4 minus 60.1 Perth 29 to 226 Brisbane 100 Adelaide 134 to 148 Hobart 5.8 minus 34.4 Darwin 31 Hard water in Canada prairie provinces contain high quantities of calcium and magnesium, often as dolomite, which are readily soluble in the groundwater that contains high concentrations of trapped carbon dioxide from the last glaciation. In these parts of Canada, the total hardness in ppm of calcium carbonate equivalent frequently exceed 200 ppm, if groundwater is the only source of potable water. The West Coast, by contrast, has unusually soft water, derived mainly from mountain lakes fed by glaciers and snowmelt. Some typical values are Montreal 116 ppm, Calgary 165 ppm, Regina 496 ppm, Saskatoon 160 to 180 ppm, Winnipeg 77 ppm, Toronto 121 ppm, Vancouver less than 3 ppm, Charlottetown. Pay 140 to 150 ppm, Waterloo Region 400 ppm, Guelph 460 ppm. Hard water in England and Wales information from the British Drinking Water Inspectorate shows that drinking water in England is generally considered to be very hard, with most areas of England, particularly east of a line between the Severn and Tees estuaries exhibiting above 200 ppm for the calcium carbonate equivalent. Water in London, for example, is mostly obtained from the River Thames and River Lee both of which derive significant proportion of their dry weather flow from springs in limestone and chalk aquifers. Wales, Devon, Cornwall and parts of northwest England are softer water areas and range from 0 to 200 ppm. In the brewing industry in England and Wales, water is often deliberately hardened with gypsum in the process of burtonization. Generally water is mostly hard in urban areas of England where soft water sources are unavailable. A number of cities built water supply sources in the 18th century as the Industrial Revolution and urban population burgeoned. Manchester was a notable such city in northwest England and its wealthy corporation built a number of reservoirs at Thelmere and Halls Water in the Lake District to the north. There is no exposure to limestone or chalk in their headwaters and consequently the water quality in Manchester is rated as very soft. Similarly, tap water in Birmingham is also soft as it is sourced from the Ailan Valley Reservoirs in Wales. Hard water in Ireland The EPA has published a standards handbook for the interpretation of water quality in Ireland in which definitions of water hardness are given. In this section, reference to original EU documentation is given, which sets out no limit for hardness. In turn, the handbook also gives no recommended or mandatory limit values for hardness. The handbooks does indicate that above the midpoint of the range is defined as moderately hard, effects are seen increasingly. The chief disadvantages of hard waters are that they neutralize the lathering power of soap, and, more important, that they can cause blockage of pipes and severely reduce boiler efficiency because of scale formation. These effects will increase as the hardness rises to and beyond 200 mg LCACO3 hard water in the United States. A collection of data from the United States found that about half the water stations tested had hardness over 120 mg per liter of calcium carbonate equivalent, placing them in the categories hard or very hard. The other half were classified as soft or moderately hard. More than 85% of American homes have hard water. The softest waters occur in parts of the New England, South Atlantic Gulf, Pacific Northwest, and Hawaii regions. Moderately hard waters are common in many of the rivers of the Tennessee, Great Lakes, and Alaska regions. Hard and very hard waters are found in some of the streams in most of the regions throughout the country. The hardest waters are in streams in Texas, New Mexico, Kansas, Arizona, and Southern California.